All right, I'm still waiting for my um, my drive replacement, but uh, I thought that you know it's almost all together now. So I sprung fifteen dollars and bought a uh, an actual boot rom uh, boot uh, floppy for the uh, for the K Pro. This guy is really nice. Um, M C Jones Tech. Anyway, he he will will make you a disc for any K Pro that you've got. So I, I described to him. I've got a I've got a two X revision three. It's got a particular ROM version and everything. And so he built he made me the CPM uh, two point two U, which is the correct version for this machine. Uh, so we should be able to pop this in and try it now. A word of warning if you get one of these machines, do not power up the machine with a floppy disk drive in the machine. And do not power down the machine with a floppy disk drive in the machine because the voltage transients as you power up and power down can actually write to the disk and corrupt them. I've had it happen on other computers before, so I know it's a real thing. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And um, let's wait for it to do something. So it's looking for the drives uh, and I'm going to put in the disk and close it and it should read that disk and it doesn't and um, there's nothing nothing I can do I'll hit reset so we can do it while it's in the drive so it accesses the B drive then it accesses the A drive and right about now, it should already be loaded. It doesn't take long to load the CPM, a very, very short little program. So anyway, it does not work. And um, I've tried um, the two different drives. Um, I haven't entirely swapped them, but I think the problem isn't drive related right now. Either that or the bo both drives may be bad. That's a possibility, but I think maybe the problem is someplace else. So I want to monitor some lines with the floppy disk in there and see if we're actually getting data transfer. If we are getting data transfer and it just looks like gobbledygook, then it's probably the head alignments or the speed uh, or capacitor. So there's lots of things that go wrong in these uh, in these floppy. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I'm going to get the um, the GoTech replacement. And the GoTech will be brand new, and I'll know that it's not a problem with the drive itself. Um, uh, it's it's somewhere else. All right, so I think I will probe around a little bit. All right, this might be hard for you to see, but uh, here's the uh, floppy disk controller, and uh, the data is coming in, coming in on this pin here. It says disk data, and. Uh, the uh, there's a strange part here, a 9216, but the data comes in on pin one. So I wanted to see if we're getting any toggling on pin one. Let's see, pin three should be a 20, uh, a four megahertz clock. Let's see here. One, two, three. Let's see here, one, two, three. Yes, indeed. So uh, let's let's do some probing here, and let me change the camera. All right. So here's that funny little chip, the 9216. I need to find a data sheet for that. But here is pin three, and we definitely have a clock. Um, so that's good. Uh, and then pin five, some type of enable. Let's see here. Yeah, it toggles when I do a reset. All right. And then here's pin one. So pin one is looking super goofy. Um, there's this weird, let's do a single shot. Yeah, see there's a whole bunch of just random data and there's the disks aren't doing anything at all, okay? Um, and if I remove the connector from drive A, um, the, remember there's A and there's B. If I remove the connector from drive A, it, it goes totally quiet, which I would expect. There's no data. Um, 
and uh, possibly I don't think the drives are selected yet but let me um, let me try a different ROM here let me go to the uh, K plus ROM because I can tell it to use drive B Alright. Yeah, this is K plus. Okay. So let me probe one again. And uh okay, that's fine. Then let me say boot on B. Oh, and we get the same we get the same thing. Alright. So the Ah, oh, but then it quit. Oh that's pretty good. Let's put the uh Let's put the actual system in there. Boot B. Ah, that looks like real data, didn't it? Yeah, that could be real data. So that's encouraging, I guess, unless it's just the wrong data. <laughs> All right, so let me put in drive A again. Because I thought it was weird, but I guess it's not. So let me boot on drive A. And we get that weird thing with no disk in it. Okay, so let me move the disk up to the A drive. Boot on A. And we don't get data. We don't get the same thing that we got on the B drive. So possibly moving the B drive to where the A drive is. The B drive might be okay. I'm going to try that. Um, I don't think um, due to the ROMs and the disks and everything I have, I can't boot this particular disk from drive B because it's not set up for the turbo ROM or the uh, K plus ROM. There's an th extra thing you have to do. So what I'm going to do is swap the uh, swap the drives, and that might get us to boot. Well, give it a try. All right. So what I've done is I've disconnected this drive and disconnected the connector, so it's no longer on here. I've jumpered this drive. There's a jumper on the drive that tells you whether you want drive A or drive B. And uh, I've jumpered this one from the B, B uh, identification to the A identification. So the system should think this is the A drive now, okay? So let me turn it on. Okay, and it accesses it. All right, fine. And let me put in the uh, CPM disk. Boom. KPRO CPM version 2.2 U1 A0, yes, it works. Direct, oops, dirt, <laughs> directory. There we go. I have a working KPRO, other than we have a bad drive. Now, I don't know, this is the only floppy uh, content that I have, and I have no way of backing it up yet. Um, I, I need to figure out if I can copy a A to an A. I know that I can copy A to B. I know how to do that. I don't know if I can copy A to A. Um, I think I can do a sysgen. Let's see. Sysgen source drive name. Yeah. Uh, let me. Uh, I think I need a read up on this. Um, there we go. I think there is a way to do it with a single drive system, but I just don't remember how. I know that you can use the copy command to go from one to the other and then use sysgen to copy the sysgen. I think sysgen will do A to A, but the format, there is a no format command in. Um, CPM, you use the copy, copy. Hmm. Let's do stat. 42K of space. Hmm. Ah. 
I don't remember. I'm, I, need, I need to go back and watch my old videos because I, I don't remember, oops, I don't remember all the commands. Stat A. Bytes remaining on A, 42K. Uh, what else do I have on here? Bod, clear, D. What is D? Uh, just a different directory. Okay. You config uniform. I don't remember some of this stuff. Must be key, key uh, K Pro specific. Oh, it's got Kermit. Good. Be able to load things back and forth until I get the way of transferring files. All right, so I have a perfect way forward now. I have one working drive and one bad drive, but I have on order my uh, GoTech drive, which is going to live here anyway. So I'll go ahead and leave this one alone and uh, wait for my GoTech, GoTech drive to come in, get the GoTech working, and then I can do all the system transfers and make backups and all that stuff very, very easy. Uh, at that point in time, so I don't think I'm, I think I'm kind of wasting my time trying to get uh, trying to get this drive working right now. Um, once I get the GoTech, I'll take this out, and then I'm on the on my spare time. I can take a look at maybe repairing this drive later on. But um, I definitely have a path forward. I just need to wait for things to ship from China, <laughs> and uh, and go from there.